Hi, I thought I'd just show you the new branching tool in version 9 of the Banana software and why it is so great. So when you have an embroidery design that has multiple objects that you would like to stitch in a smooth stitch out, let me just make this true view so it looks a bit nicer. Um, the usual thing to do when you've after you've digitized your objects and I'll just go into individual objects here so you would digitize all your objects hopefully as close as possible to the order you want to stitch them but if not you would have to then rearrange them in the order they want to stitch so in this case um, I wanted this petal here to stitch first I'll go out of true view again so you can see um, but this petal here is going to stitch on top of it, so I could stitch that next. I'll just tab forward, and I have already put these in the correct order. But if they weren't in the correct order, you could move them in the color film with your uh, move tools here. So that's going to stitch next. Now I can't stitch this one next because it's actually sitting on top of this petal as well. So I have to go over here and stitch this one next. And then this one here is stitching on top of that one. So that has to go next. And then this one goes last. That's the petals. And then, of course, I've got the bottom part of the center will stitch first before the frill. But that's a separate color. So um, there will be a trim at the end of the petals and tie in at the beginning of the new color, of course. But when you're digitizing... Yes, your machines would trim, so if I stitched this one first and then stitched this one and I didn't do anything about it, um, I've got a jump stitch, if I zoom in, I've got a jump stitch across here and yes, my machine would tie off here and trim and then it would come over here because the distance is long enough to cause a trim um, and then it would tie in again here and stitch the next one. The problem with that is that your machine will slow down to do the tie off and it will tie in very slowly as well. It also creates more stitches and it creates tails underneath the embroidery where the trim has been made. Now these are all things you want to try and avoid in an, in an embroidery design. Um, you want to stitch out your designs as smooth as possible. So the traditional way of dealing with, with that would be to create a path of running stitch from this object. So I'll stitch this object, then I'll stitch this object. And where this object ends and where the jump stitch starts, you would run a single run running stitch from the, here and you would find a path underneath your design till you got to the beginning of the object you wanted to stitch next and then so I'll just do that I'll do it the old way first so you can see the advantage of the new branching tool so in order to get that I've got my show connectors showing and so and I'm out of true view so I'm seeing the connect the jump stitch and I'm also seeing a little triangle here and a little circle here now if you are in older much older versions that don't have the connector button you would have to go into your reshape tool and find the start and end points of the design and try and remember where they are while you digitize your path so um, I believe version 8 had the show connectors I'll have to check on that again so we forget so quickly when we move on to a new version but in any event let's create that um, path so that we can eliminate this jump stitch so I'm going to select um, an open object and a single run and I'm going to zoom in and there's my triangle there and I need the yellow color so I'll make sure I've got that and I'm going to click on the yellow color a uh, click on the triangle where this object ends and then I'm going to create my path and I'm just using left clicks because I just need to make sure I'm underneath this object and I need to go to the start of the, that object which is right there there's a little circle it must it's very hard to see but it is there so if I left click right on that circle now it's important to get right on that circle if you can or right on the start of this the very stitch that starts this new object because if you don't um, you, your machine will 
slow down and, and do a little hop to get to that spot if it's less than two millimetres. So it won't trim, but it'll slow down and do a little hop and you want to avoid that as well. Um, if you are too far away from that, say I was right over here and it's more than two millimetres, I don't think it is in this case, but if it was more than two millimetres, then it would actually still trim and, and tie in again. So you know you've got it in the wrong place if when you do your stitch out, if you get either of those two th things happen. So that's where these show connectors are really great because you can get right on that very start. So I'm going to enter, which has put that... Um, I'll just go out of true view, oh, sorry, into true view. That has put that path, of course, at the end of the color film because it's the last thing that's digitized. So we don't want it there because that hasn't eliminated the jump stitch. If I go back out of true view and so oh, show stitches, sorry, out of true view, um, and I'll select this one. Oh, escape out of my tool, of course, and get my select tool. If I select this one right now, you can still see the jump stitch is still there. So we need to move that path up to the, where it should be, which is between these two petals here. So I'm going to move it to the top and then down one object twice so it's in the right place. Now, if I select this object, there's no jump stitch there anymore. Um, that's how you would do it. Now, you, of course, you have to put your start and end points in the right place as well before you start. Uh, not only get your objects in the right order, but put your start and end points in the right place as well um, if you're in previous versions. So, and then you have to create that path and then you have to move it in the color film. And if you've got a lot of objects, sometimes it's very hard to find where you're supposed to be putting it, especially if it's, in, if it's the same color. So then you end up changing the color so you know where you're putting it and then changing the color back all these steps just to get that one path in and it's you know anything could go wrong in any of those steps if you make a mistake however in version 9 we've got the branching tool so that is going to eliminate all those issues so I'm going to select that um, path and delete it and of course if I select this my jump stitch has come back I could have just done un undo several times but um, it was quicker just to delete it. So how can I get rid of that jump stitch with the branching tool? It's as easy as, I'm going to actually put this in color, color film in color blocks mode, select all the objects that you want to stitch in one continuous go. So I'll select that. Um, and of course, you don't really even have to have them in you should have them in the right order in the color film before you do this so that the right objects are stitching on top of each other. So this is the last petal I want to stitch, so that's at the bottom. So please be sure you get them in the right order first in the color film, but that's all you have to do. And then select all the petals or all the objects that you want to stitch as one object and come over to your edit toolbox and you'll find the branching tool. Now that is available because I've selected those objects. If you don't have any objects selected, the branching tool will not be available. It's common sense. So I'm going to select the branching tool. Now nothing happens because down in the bottom left, it's asking you to enter an entry point. Now I'm going to enter an entry point where the original embroidery started. And I can see this because um, I'm out of true view and here is the where the design starts. It doesn't actually stitch that stitch, but it's set to start in the center and it's going to jump here and start stitching. That, so that's the very first stitch there. So that's where I'm going to enter my entry point. And then if I look down in the bottom left, it's going to ask me to enter an exit point. I won't take my cursor down there because as you saw, it's auto scrolling and I will lose the design off the side of the page. So now I need to say where I want it to finish. Now the last petal that stitches is this one and I'm going to finish it here. Once you've done that, your um, petals will become one object. So I'm in individual objects mode still. You can see I've got two separate objects for the center piece, but all the petals are grouped together. So you can either use the undo button if you don't like the result. So I'll just go to true view. 
you could just undo immediately or if you change your mind later on and you've done a few other steps in the design you could select this object and you can actually use the break apart tool to get it back to individual petals again so you're not stuck with it, it um, however if I go out of true view I no longer have that jump stitch running across here this jump stitch here is actually a color change so this is where the design finishes and then it starts the um, center piece so that is won't stitch um, and that original um, jump stitch over to here from the start has disappeared as well which is interesting so um, the design is going to start stitching there so um, as you could see that was just a couple of clicks to achieve the same result that in previous versions we had to take a lot of steps to do so I hope you enjoyed that video. I'll be having a new Zoom meeting advertised on my website soon. Um, I'll email everyone, letting them know about it. Um, so if you're not a member of my free um, club on, uh, on my website, then you need to go and visit my website and sign up. So um, I'll just get that up for you now so you know where to go and there'll be a link in the description below. Okay, so I'll just bring that up on the internet for you. So it's the Benina Digitizers Club. It's free um, and it's basically a community forum for the software where you can talk to each other or talk to me. Um, if you click the learn more button, you'll be able to sign up. Um, I have to have a plan in there for it to operate um, so I've made the free community membership plan so you can just choose that one or you can just click join now and that will take you to that one because that's the only plan I've got and if you sign up you'll get my newsletters about all my new classes and courses thank you very much